What is up y'all? My name is Rhino Spartan, and I am going to be showing y'all 7 Space Engineers build hacks that can add extra detail and functionality to your builds. These build hacks are ones I found while playing the game, and they are listed in no particular order. Without delaying this video further, I will now begin. Windows are present on almost all ships in the game. Most of the time, it is difficult to make them look unique because black is the only available glass tint color for all windows. Why? That is why people have been asking for color tinted windows to be added to the game. However, it doesn't look like Keen Software House is going to add tinted windows, at least for a while. Because of this, I decided to find a way to make tinted windows using available features. By using projections of armor panels, you can create a sort of window tint by overlapping a projection with an existing window. This allows you to create tinted glass in whatever color you please. Not only can you add color to glass with this hack, you can also add patterns and textures to your windows as well. Catwalks are very commonly used blocks because they make builds appear more realistic. To enhance this realism factor, you can add crates and other blocks on the catwalk. Normally, you wouldn't be able to do this because catwalks occupy a whole block space. You can resolve this problem by turning a catwalk with no railings upside down and adding the railings after you placed the extra detail. This build hack allows for you to place whichever block that occupies a 1x1x1 space you want onto a catwalk. If you ever wanted to make objects float on your builds, then I am quite certain that you will like this build hack. Almost all blocks that occupy one block space in the game have one hitbox, excluding the railing double, which has two hitboxes. Since the railing double has two hitboxes but acts as one block, you can place a block on each railing and create a 1x1x1 one by one by one block gap. You can use this build hack to make your ships look greatly technologically advanced, and you can confuse your friends with it. One problem I had with building ships and stations was giving them interesting floor designs. In order to solve this problem, I searched through available blocks to see what has interesting patterns. I then discovered that the passage blocks have a variety of different patterns on their tops and sides. By using the block faces of passage blocks, you can create many different types of floors for your ships and stations. These patterns also look good when paired with interior walls. Elevators are quite rare in Space Engineers because of the amount of work it requires to build them. This is mainly because of the clang proofing process, which often results in elevators taking substantially more space than it needs to. This elevator right here is one of the smallest elevators you can make with subgrids next to Redship. As you can see, it is quite large and would take up a lot of unnecessary space if it was placed inside it. I unintentionally found a solution to this issue while I was experimenting with pistons. A piston without its top part will phase through blocks 
while maintaining its hitbox when extended. Since pistons are able to phase through blocks when extended, you can use passage blocks as the elevator wall. This build hack allows for the creation of an elevator with 1x1 one one dimensions. Because this elevator has no subgrids, you can integrate them into your ships and large rovers without the worry of a clang instigated nightmare. While this build hack isn't the most interesting one of this list, it is still worth mentioning. Signage is usually difficult to set up because of the amount of resources it takes to make an LCD panel and how long it takes to select the desired sign. Take arrows for example. It takes a large amount of time to create signage pointing in a direction you wish because you have to set up each individual LCD panel. Instead, you can use the letter V as arrows. They require a lot less resources to build, and they have the ability to have their color changed easily. It doesn't just stop at arrows, however. You can also use an underscore as a road divider and a dot as a bolt. These are a few ideas I had for different uses for symbols. Let me know what use you find in the comments section. I already made a video on this glitch, but I thought it would be ideal to include it in this video. A while back, a discovery was made about the target dummies. When displayed using a projector, a target dummy will still maintain its hitbox, even though it's supposed to only be a hologram with no collision properties. I built upon this concept and found a way to create a completely solid surface with no gaps. The console block allows for the projection to be reduced in size, but the hitbox doesn't shrink along with it. The hitboxes of the target dummies can be overlapped and ultimately create a fully solid surface that can be projected and spawned at will. This exploit can be used to make energy shields and bridges similar to the ones seen in the Halo franchise. The projection can sometimes lose its collision properties if the player camera is too far away from the contraption. To fix this problem, you can simply remove the blueprint from the console block, reapply it, and scale it back up to a scale of your choice, which, ideally, would be set to 10 to 20%. Keep in mind that this build hack can impact gameplay performance. You can find more information on this exploit by clicking the video in the description or the end screen. Now, if you have a build hack you would like to share, or if you have a question, feel free to present it in the comments section. If you've thought that these build hacks were helpful and interesting, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.